Fluke T110 Fluke T150 Overall both the same meter Main difference LCD You get this on the 130 And the 150 The 190 And the 110 Which this one is Has no display We each have RCD trip By using these two buttons On each But first you need to have these two in, in between Earth, CPC and Live Phase. The top cap, if you are wondering, that there is to stick into your socket Earth pin to open up the guard on the socket. So therefore, let's move on. On the 110, it does have one feature that all the rest don't have. And that is the ability to operate in mute silent mode. So if I hold that one now, lights up. So therefore, if I touch, no buzz. Let's turn that off. Hold. Now I have audio warning. What I'll do now is shove one in there into the ground. Then I have make contact. You get our bar graph and power warning. That should also work on single mo on single probe. So there's the other side open. Shove that in. So therefore, if that one's open, we still get the warning. I'll do the same now with the one fifty. It's in true probe mode. So there's the probe plugged in there. Take it out, put it there, and make contact again. I should only get audio and, and single light. No display. But if I bring that over, and touch the chassis, now I've got a return. We come back to the meters, both side by side. I do like the larger light and numbers. Each are overall, well, the same. Twitter 23, brand new. And this one I think is... 22 just over a year old as you can see all my test gear is very clean well apart from this one here the 1587 which nearly went on fire it was left on top of a stove electric and somebody decided to turn the power back on. Luckily, I caught it in town. I think the batteries are a bit dead in this one. Yeah, there they are. If you go, if you try and do insulation test with low batteries, it just lights up. Let's move back onto the two flukes. Looking here at the screen, it 
choose you. The T90, the 110, the 130 and the 150. And it got them all on and off. Letting you know that feature's there and that feature isn't. This is not an extra feature. It's just the, well, Cat 2. Cat 3, safer to use in high voltages. We we'll scroll down to the bottom. You will see some slight differences in the features, and somewhere is silent mode. LCD backlit only on the 130 and the 150 because the rest don't have the LCD. But on page two, it does mention silent mode. There it is there. There it is there. Silent mode is only available on T110. On page two of the instructions. Another slight change in feature but not that useful in high voltage work that all spark work at is the six volt range. Again, only on the 130 and the 150. So anything up to anything from six volts, I'll show you what it is. So overall, my opinion on the 150 and the 110. The 110 is the minimum I would use for if you were approved dead for power. Because you cannot go wrong with the meter. It's got no switches, no dials, no nothing. It'll either give you continuity or voltage. Shroud so you can't slip your fingers down. But what I don't like is the length of here. You're supposed to hold it there and then, you know, plug it in. But somebody might be tempted to hold it here or here and then make contact. So the guards, it's GS38 approved. But the tips to where they are there, you know, it needs to be 2 mil. It desired but a maximum of four mil on the 110 when I got that one the box was damaged and I didn't have the tips or the guards but the 150 ah put that one back to front this is the 150 here's the 110 I bought this one with a damaged box and the tips were missing and the plastic tips are missing but they can be bought separately. So should I use that on high voltage? Because it's more than four mil. I probably would, but I shouldn't. Getting back to this useful feature. I didn't actually notice that myself until I read the whole manual. Where it shows you shoving that into a socket. Gets the guard out of the way. So overall, what do I think of the two of them? They both look like they'd last many, many years.
Build quality is the same. Again, the RCD trip function. So you in between the the FCPC and the live phase, hold the two buttons. It'll give you a leakage current and you can remote or trip the RCD. Um, a useful feature if you're working by yourself and you're upstairs in a house and you forget to turn the power off. Yes, you could remote trip the RCD and then prove dead. But you are supposed to use a lock-off kit. Both TAA batteries. You unscrew here, slide it down. The cable is attached into the meter. You slide it back up and screw it back together again. This one, 2022. And this one that I got this week, the 110, 2023, but the box was damaged. So I did get it at a quite reduced price. And I did just drop the cash, pay, and run out the door. Another useful feature light indicator. See if you are working and the power does trip for some unknown reason, you got a torch to hand. And again, I've not tested to see if that does power down by itself. It should be somewhere in the instructions. If I leave the light on, will it eventually power off? Well, what I'll do, I'll check that later and leave it in the comments. Well, folks, that's all.